a stark and sobering message from an international panel of scientists assessing the impact of climate change. Their United Nations report concludes that the world must stop using fossil fuels by the end of the century or face catastrophic consequences. As CCTV's Malcolm Brabant reports, flooding, food shortages, and mass extinctions of plants and animals are just some of the predictions. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change revealed its devastating findings in the capital of Denmark, a country that's leading the world in efforts to become carbon neutral. The Danes are on the target to generate 50% of their electricity from wind power by 2020. It's an example the UN Secretary General wants other nations to follow. If we act now, immediately and decisively, we have the means to build a better and more sustainable world. This is supposed to be a wake-up call for the world. But will the biggest polluters take heed? There's due to be a make-or-break conference in Paris next year, and there's a real drive-on to come up with a legally binding accord that will commit polluters to reducing their emissions. The biggest pressure is going to be on the developing nations whose growing economies have helped to lift people out of poverty. Now they're going to be under real pressure to face up to their environmental responsibilities. In Copenhagen, where many people commute by bicycle, some fear the rest of the world does not take the environment as seriously as Denmark does. I'm very concerned about how things are developing in, in, in especially Asia, where I'm traveling a lot. Uh, you can really see the impact on, on the society there. Just by coming there for the last three years, there has been a big change out there. The environment is not uh, a high priority for the international society, I think. China, India, all these great, great countries are um, just emerging and have not reached the standard of living that we have. And that's only when you reach this plateau you can actually start take like small initiative steps yourself. But some in the science community believe the world doesn't have to give up fossil fuel completely if carbon capture and storage technology is more fully developed. We know how to re-inject CO2 underground. They've been doing it for decades. We know how to capture CO2 from power stations. We just need to put the things together, and we also need to get the policy framework in place to give companies, to give countries, the right incentives to get this very expensive technology um, progressed and, and deployed. Carbon capture is indeed among a menu of options the UN panel has laid out for action. But, like all its recommendations, money is a factor, as is the need for agreement among nations with varied levels of commitment and resources. The UN Secretary General warns that there is no ambiguity in the scientists' message. Leaders must act, he said. Time is not on our side. Malcolm Brabant, CCTV, Copenhagen.